project involves retail quality monitoring at the major and independent retailers around the country. So we're, we're assessing fruit from stores in Brisbane, Melbourne, Perth, Adelaide and, and Sydney, and really trying to um, identify um, what is the quality in those stores, but also linking it with factors on display, things like uh, fruit age, um, how the fruit has been stacked onto the shelves, and then providing feedback back to um, the suppliers and the retailers um, on quality of fruit in their stores and providing very quick uh, feedback to every week, getting information back to them so they can make changes through the season. And we're also monitoring uh, maturity at the wholesale markets to keep an eye on uh, the maturity levels through the season, particularly those changeover periods uh, where we might run into immature fruit on the market. So I think one of the key things we'd like growers to know is, is what the quality of their fruit is at retail. Often there's, there's a lot of steps in between fruit leaving an orchard or a pack house and getting to retail then. So trying to get that information back to growers um, so they can access that information often through their pack house who we send the reports to. And the other thing we'd like growers to know is that there's a lot of de-identified information provided on a monthly basis um, with results um, by a production region, also by retailers. And that information is available on the Avocados Australia Best Practice resource. I think one of the big achievements to date is working with the major retailers, Coles, Woolworths and Aldi, to really try and drive improvements in their stores. We met with them every quarter with Avocados Australia and helping them to, to break down their results compare themselves with their competition. And that's helped make big changes in, their, in what they're doing and, and lifting their quality levels. I think the other thing is we've been able to identify that we've actually made a big improvement in quality over the past 10 years. So uh, back in 2015, we were seeing about a 79% level of acceptable HAS in Australia. And now we've seen a that increased to about 87%. So a fantastic result for the avocado industry as well as consumers and helping to increase demand in the category. I think one of the key benefits for growers is, is helping improve quality of fruit. So this project has been able to, to help provide feedback for suppliers and retailers to improve quality. And ultimately that's gonna help increase consumer demand, which the category really needs with the massive increase in supply at the moment. The other thing is benefits for growers like getting feedback on their fruit quality. And we've seen some suppliers use that information as marketing to be able to say our fruit quality um, is at this level over the season and you know being proud of the results they're achieving. One of the key benefits for retailers has been using the results that we've provided back to them to make quick changes through the season where needed. So we've identified at times high levels of unripe fruit on their displays and they've been able to use that information to quickly make changes with their suppliers and also through their ripening teams and really quickly change what they're supplying on shelf um, and make sure that whatever they're providing is of high acceptance to consumers and also maximising sales, which the industry really needs.